What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is going to be a comparison of the TCL NXT SXR smart glasses versus the NREAL Air smart glasses. Now, what these are, are glasses that you can put on, connect to your phone, your computer, your tablet, uh, your video game system of some sort, and see what's on that through these glasses. They display through these glasses, very similar to what we've used uh, uh, virtual reality before. It's somewhat similar, but not as immersive as that. And then these, again, are the other ones. But ultimately, they do the same exact thing. Both of them are also very, very similar. Now, one of the big differences on these are that the TCL ones right here are in Kickstarter right now. So they're not fully out right now. You can't even, I mean, you can buy them, but you won't get them released for a little bit now. The Unreal Airs are already out. So you can buy these, you can buy them on Amazon. I'll link both of these down below if you wanna either basically pre-purchase these or buy these. So these ones I have are a, a production model. So for instance, the software, maybe the final look, everything about these might change ever so slightly. But I wanted to tell you which ones I thought were better in certain ways and which ones are the better buy overall if you're just looking to get these. First of all, here are the TCL NXT glasses. Now these do plug in with a proprietary end here. It snaps on just magnetically to the back there. And then the other end is USB-C. But ultimately, very similar in the way they work. Sunglasses come off and then attach magnetically. You need the sunglasses because it enhances what you see through these glasses. If you didn't have the sunglasses on, you'd either need to be in a pretty much pitch dark room or a room with really no uh, no, no light at all. So keep that in mind. Here's what they look like on. They also have buttons on the side here. And the one side is the volume buttons to control the volume that you hear. Cause these do, both glasses do have open ear stereo buds that just play through the glasses themselves. And then on the other side, I have a little toggle here to make the screen darker or brighter. Here's the Nreal ears. They also have buttons on the side here. So you have buttons over here that you can turn the display on and off. And then you have another button that will make it brighter or lighter. And it does not have controls for the volume, but you can control the volume through your device, same as the TCL if you wanted to. And with the Nreal Airs, they just use a USB-C cable. It plugs into the back left and it becomes basically just one piece. And then the other end also is USB-C to plug into any device that you want. Now, compatibility with both of these glasses is gonna be pretty much the same. Any device that allows for a display port, um, otherwise, if you can hook it up to some kind of device like an iPhone, you will need multiple adapters. Also within that, if you're gonna hook these up to you know gaming system, something that connects via HDMI, you will need adapters as well. Also take into consideration that if you plug these into a USB-C port of your phone, your tablet, or something like that, you will not be able to charge at the same time. If you want to do that, you're gonna to have to get a powered USB hub of some sort. Now in terms of just straight up comfort, I have to give it to the Nreal ears. They feel lighter. Um, they don't push my ear on either side, and I'll show you that in a minute with the uh, NXT TCL ones. They just feel really, really comfortable. I feel like I can wear these a little bit longer than the TCL ones and not be bothered as much. So comfort definitely goes to these. I love that the USB-C cable is in the back, which makes it really, really good. Um, and again, they just feel lighter, so I love that about them. The TCL ones, for me anyway, you can see they push my ear off to the side and it's gotta be because this clamp right here where it you know, plugs into the glasses is being a little bit too bulky for me. Now I guess I could, you might not have that same experience, but for me, I do. I can still wear these for a fair amount of time and, and not be too bothered by it, but, and they also feel a little bit heavier. So comfort, without a doubt, I'd definitely give it to the Enreal Airs. One big thing with these glasses are you're gonna be using them probably not in pitch dark rooms all the time. You're gonna be using them um, you know, on an airplane or in a room like I am right now where it's pretty bright. And if you're looking you know, at these and there's a window in front of you or you're using them outside or you're just using these where it's kind of bright, without a doubt, the TCL NXT 
wears work so much better. You can see a lot more. It's these uh, N-Rail ones are just a little bit too transparent for me. Now, if I turn my head and look at a wall, a solid wall of some sort, it definitely looks just as good. But the brightness in terms of, you know, when you're in a bright environment, the TCL ones just do a, such a better job. Um, they're way less transparent, the video that you're looking at, versus when you're looking at the Enreal Air. So for that, gotta give the winning, uh, winner to the uh, TCL ones. What about audio? Now I do wanna give you a little caveat. If you want to connect Bluetooth headphones while you're using these like little earbuds, you can. You don't have to listen to the audio through these whatsoever. Um, but if you want to use these to listen to your audio that you're watching or the game that you're playing and have it come through, the TCL ones do sound a little bit louder and a little bit just better overall. By a lot, not much. I, I can't say like the Enreal Airs just sound awful and they're just crappy. They, they don't. They, quality wise, they're both very, very similar. Don't get me wrong, neither of these have like super amazing sound. They're open earbuds. Uh, the speakers basically are right here on both of them. So you're, it, the audio is playing, so people will probably hear what you're listening to a little bit. But ultimately, if you want better volume, just better overall quality audio, I'd give it to the TCLs. Now, if you've ever used smart glasses before, especially ones like these extended reality glasses, you'll know that sometimes the corners of the edges are kind of, you know, off a little bit. So with the TCL glasses, the what I've noticed, at least for me, and this could be different for everybody, is that on the top right and bottom right edges, they're a little bit cut off. And in the top right, it's a little bit blurry. And, it, it, and when I say the edge, I mean the upper edge. I don't mean like the whole screen. Uh, the bottom right is a little bit cut off. And it depends. It's going to be different for everybody. So it's kind of a tough thing to say. Um, whereas I noticed I could see definitely almost the whole display on the Enreal Airs. Um, the edges were, and the sides and the corners were actually really, really good, more so than the TCL glasses. So for that, I'd have to give the win to the Enreal Airs. This is a weird one because I just said that the TCL glasses were actually better to see in a bright environment, but if you're in the same environment, you're looking at like just a wall or it's completely black in your room, for me, I felt like I could get the Enreal Airs a little bit brighter than the TCL glasses. So for brightness, I'd have to give it to the Enreal Airs. But again, if you go back to just a bright environment, um, the wind goes to the TCL because you know, obviously the TCL probably has some darker sunglasses that are helping it win. Now in terms of just overall quality of the video and picture that you see through both of these glasses, the TCL glasses definitely are a better quality, sharper, looking image, video, whatever you want to call it. It just, it just seems more crisp versus the Enreal Airs. If I had to give it a percentage, I'd probably say maybe about 25% more crisp, maybe 15 to 25, somewhere in that range, but definitely crispier uh, than the Enreal Air. So if you want a better quality overall image, even though these are both 1080p glasses, um, I'd give it to the TCL smart glasses for the better overall image. And then software, it's really, really hard to do that on these. Software is definitely better on the Enreal Airs, but these are also a released product that you can get right now. They're in the, in the, <laughs> they're in the world, you can get them. The TCLs are still a work in production, so it's tough to say, oh, this has better software than this. Obviously, the Enreal does, because this is not a finished product on these TCL glasses. But overall, um, you can, you're you gonna be able to do most of the same stuff that you can do. You use these on basically any device that you want with either an adapter or just plugging it straight in. Um, you can do 3D movies on both if you have the right software. Um, so again, they both are very, very similar in that regard, but just, right this second in terms of software at the time of making this video, the Enreal Ears obviously have better software. So which of these smart glasses should you get? Um, if you need these right now, you have to get the Enreal Ears. They're the only ones that are physically out, out of these two that you can get right now. And uh, they work pretty freaking good and they look pretty freaking good as well. Whereas the TCLs aren't out just yet. They're both similarly priced currently. These are like 330 bucks. On Kickstarter, these are about $380 on Amazon. Um, so if you need something now, yeah, get the Enreal Airs. If you can wait a little bit, I'd say, you know, if you're not in a huge rush, you know, wait for the, the, the TCL smart glasses because I feel like they do look better. They do sound a little bit better. Um, some of the things I mentioned might turn you off or you might not be bothered by it, but ultimately, um, 
check them out when they both come out because these might change some of the things that I'm complaining about might be fixed. So we'll wait and see, but ultimately both are really, really cool products, make for excellent Christmas gifts if you can get them for Christmas. These are definitely out for Christmas now. Um, these, um, can't remember if these will be out before Christmas. I wanna say they won't be, but I might be wrong on that. Ultimately, really, really cool stuff. Check them out, both are linked down below. Thanks for watching, have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.